The force be with you. It never ceases to amaze me how people can evolve, driven only by the desire to succeed. For behind all these 20 years of great achievements are just people, neither clever products nor fancy concepts. Tecos Evolution's milestones are related to the moment key people came aboard. Each of these people has been an infusion of determination and courage. Over 19 years ago, Dana has made her debut on the office furniture scene. Obviously, she doesn't like to be reminded that she joined our company last century. <laughs> Nevertheless, the accumulated experience makes her priceless. She successfully handled numerous large projects throughout the years and her bright days are far from over. Her name will always be related to Procter & Gamble, the first ever client to become a global key account of Teco Group. Hi guys, welcome to Teco Romania Design Department. We have four people in our team. Me, myself, and I. And of course, my colleague Monica. Where is Monica? Oh, she's working. Somebody should work in this company. Now I'm going to show you what design means for us. A little bit of function, a little bit of innovation, and a little bit of environment, and a lot of emotion. But working for Teco since 2004, I realized that the design is almost nothing without teamwork, the most important and heaviest part of designers' jobs. 15 years back, Alex started to explore the possibility to grow the client's base into key accounts. It was no easy task, but neither Alex is the quitting type. He gathered so many interesting projects in his portfolio that makes it difficult for us to mention just a few without overlooking others. He has involved himself in changing the way the sales reps work, teaming up with assistants. His output in starting up our business in Transylvania was remarkable. When I first came to Teco, there were uh, only four people in the office. Now we are uh, 20 people in Bucharest, to include, and we probably need to hire some more as the business is on the rise. I remember one of the first advices that Christian gave me related to sales. Um, back in the days when uh, I was uh, nervous before a meeting or a presentation, and um, uh, because I didn't know the products that well, and uh, I was afraid of the client's questions that I wouldn't know how to answer them. And Christian told me, listen, you already know more about furniture than the client does. For him, you are the furniture expert, so whatever you have to say, uh, they will buy it. Um, it really worked out for, for me as it uh, helped me relax, and uh, it's an advice that I've passed uh, to my colleagues uh, um, after that. The market was continuously changing and we were constantly challenged by the growing demand in all aspects. New shiny buildings sprung up and we had to stay alert. The rhythm of relocations has intensified, especially in the last decade. The needs had to be addressed differently. The wind of change started to blow. As a consequence, new people came on board and each one of them brought his unique mark on the business approach. Without underestimating the power of knowledge, it was always about the sheer talent of our people and their enthusiasm which boosted our sales. It soon turned out that the furniture was no longer sufficient, so we moved on to fit-outs, but the great achievements were yet to come. Here George comes in, a man with a straightforward approach. I started my journey as part of Teco team 13 years ago. Back in time, you'll find a young guy a little bit scared of the future. Christian gave me the chance to be part of this amazing team of people. In this period of time, I learned a lot about self-confidence, business strategies and people skills. These are my secret ingredients. His style has brought Tech Romania many customers. In fact, 
He was the one who started the large scale fit out projects, triggering further changes in our team structures. The need of having a team of project managers was created. Rarish, our most experienced project manager, handled difficult tasks, but he always managed to pull it off. His area of expertise, namely fit-out works, range from flooring and partitionings to ceilings, ventilations and cabling. What do you want to know? I specialize in fit-out management. I am talking about integrating partition, flooring, ventilation and cabling and all related stuff. We had to adapt to market grow and we end up being four project managers in Teco Romania, having done more than 200,000 of office space fit out. And if you ask me how we did it, probably it will take a few days or maybe you don't ask. Along with our business growth, logistics became more complicated. We have encountered many demanding situations which heavily challenged our specialist skills. Logistics in Teco is a hell of a job. Sometimes it gets so complicated that it gives me headaches. But we are strongly committed to solve the unsolvable and everybody expects this from us. Our company has been on an upswing in the last five years, but it was Catalin, a sales addict, who set the bar high. His passion for poker has sparked his sales drive, his negotiations ability scoring very high. In a decade in Teco, he cleverly built up a network of partnerships which has shaped up our recent evolution. As a result, in 10 years within our company, his cumulated personal sales reach over 25 million euros. It is no wonder that his sales this year recorded a whopping 7 million euros. 10 years ago, when I was 21, Christian told me, Catalin, you look too young to be selling furniture and signing contracts with multinational companies. But I will hire you only if you promise that you will be wearing every single day a black suit. Suit which he hoped to make me look more serious in front of the clients. Now, after 10 years, things have dramatically changed. Meaning, I own two suits. The last couple of years were crazy and we managed to set up new sales records for our branch. This wouldn't have been possible without my colleagues from sales support, logistics and project managers who I would like to thank and also to say I'm really sorry for the I was a pain in their ass. Companies usually award the manager of the year title to its best performer. Choosing Techos champion this year is not an easy task as we all like to act like a team. If I were to choose the champion of the year, this is definitely going to be the poker player. What is this? This guy is not even on the payroll. Or is he? Teco is a perfectly balanced cocktail of outstanding talents and attitudes and we intend to keep it that way. We've got the power to transform our vision into reality and I think we proved it.